Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nkanelo wa Gingirkan. My name is Mandela Gera Gingirkan Wakamashava, bringing you another episode. So if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button to make sure that whenever we do our videos, you are not left behind. Don't be left behind. Um, usually on the channel, we talk about entertainment stuff or music, art, entertainment, where we make jokes, we make each other laugh. And that's actually the main aim of the channel, but then I could not help but have to talk about this one. Ulfuno uh, Muvanga is a lady who's a pupil that committed suicide out in Beiri High School. That's in Sibasai, Toyando. So apparently she was confronted by uh, the perpetrator for the fact that she, she had blocked the perpetrator on Facebook and WhatsApp. So... She was being confronted there. Other people are talking about the fact that uh, she was uh, bullied for her looks. And I'm like, no, you know, because if you look at uh, Lufuno, her name is Lufuno. And funny, that, funny enough, Lufuno, it means love in Chivenda. It translates to love. So she looks like a, pu- a peaceful, you know, people, young lady. Um... It, it, it's 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 tragic it's sad you know i wonder whoever you know bullied her feel right now we're not here to come and lay blame and because obviously we lay we let the law take its course because I, i'm hearing that the perpetrator or was arrested so but i just want to talk about something that bothers me when i watch the video for me, that's actually the main reason I'm actually doing this video. The fact that um, as much as bullying is a huge concern in South Africa, um, we know that uh, 23% of children or peoples have experienced bullying uh, in South Africa in the past months. That's, that's actually according to, to research. So there is a pandemic, there is a crisis there. That's okay, right? We'll talk about it. But I just want to talk about, if you analyze the video, which I don't have it right now, right right here, I can't play it for because I don't want to show incidents of violence. For me, that's violence. I really don't like showing violence on a channel. I'm concerned the fact that the other people who are standing by watching we're actually clapping and, and screaming and shouting. They were not screaming to say, stop, stop. They were actually excited about the whole event. And I'm like, wow, such bystanders, you know, such crime happening. Because it looks like the reason why um, Lufuno committed suicide was because of the fact that she couldn't take what happened to her, the way she was humiliated. She even wrote a letter um i saw these quotes from her where one of the words she used in the letter saying that we are all beautiful but in different ways meaning that she was abused or she was looked at as it as the other or different from other people which i'm like when i look at this young lady i don't see anyone that is ugly here if that was the concern from perpetrators because this lady well i wish she could actually hear what i'm saying right now that i look at her and i'm like such beautiful skin she looks like she has a nice beautiful skin with a good tone a lot of models will will want to kill for that kind of skin you know i wish she knew how beautiful she is because she is beautiful she looks beautiful and but then when you have to go and enjoy bullying, it can get to you. We all have gone through bullying, you know. It's a pandemic in South Africa. Um, apparently, with regard to fast facts, they say that a lot of kids experience uh, being bullied in South Africa. And it's a growing pandemic. It's a growing, it's on the rise, in other words. What could be the reason why are so many young uh, kids so angry? Because right now I just heard that there is a kid 
in Haman Skral who also committed suicide. And it's a school going kid. Clearly we have a problem. Also in Houting, they also lost, lost a child through uh, uh, suicide as well. So what kind of society do we have, you know, where we have kids who grow up angry because I can't even imagine to have, I mean, I can't even imagine for those people who were watching, who were standing by. I, 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 I can't imagine how they feel right now, knowing that they were there, but they did nothing. All they did was clapping hands, screaming, shouting, making noise instead of saying stop, stop, stop. Yes, I saw another kid who came and stopped the whole thing. But then it took long for me. And then the person was recording it as well. Why record such uh, incidents and circulate it on social network to embarrass another people, you know? That's why I, 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 I always say that sometimes we need to be very careful with what we do with videos or things we say about other people that what if they kill themselves? Or, you know, because those things, you cannot predict it, but people are going through different things or emotions and anything can happen. And this one, it happened tragically. That kid is no more because lots of people were irresponsible. Because when I say lots of people, I'm saying that because I'm hearing that um, even the principal, the school principal knew about the incident but did nothing. Teachers knew about this incident, but they did nothing about it. The question is, did the Department of Education knew about this bullying tactics happening at Mbilui? Because it looks like that school is infested with bullies. You know, we're hearing that the perpetrator did this thing before. She's been a bully herself. The perpetrator has been a bully for so long, started in grade 8. So people knew about her. You know, what, what steps have they done as the school governing body and the school itself, the teachers, the principal, to try to stop these things? I know a lot of parents who have kids who, who attend crutches or, you know, these um, early learning institutions do hear their kids complain that so-and-so scratched me. You know, you hear your child come back home complaining that so-and-so beat me. And you never laid a hand on your child. And then, and then you wonder, how can another child beat my child? And then what do you do about those things? You know, look at this, that, 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 that child is gone. So it looks like we do have a problem, especially the problem of bystandership or bystander season, if there's such a word, that... You see something happening and you do nothing about it. You just watch and take videos and selfies so that you can trend on social networks. For me, it's stupid. It's it's stupidity. It's idiotism, if I can call it that. So, South Africa has a serious problem. South Africa has a serious problem. And I I just hope the Department of Education can can actually deal with this one. Look at that. This kid is trying to defend herself. You know, she's not violent. But that aggressor, that bully is there forcefully, gigantic as she is, pushing her against the wall, slapping her, beating her so many times, and people are just watching and taking videos. You know, it's sad. It's sad. It's like, I don't care until it happens to my family. I feel like that's the society that we live in. Unless it affects me, I don't care. That's the society we live in. It's sad. It's it's terrible. We cannot have these kind of things. You know, to the level where another kid goes and writes a note, you know, a very sad note, trying to express how disappointed, you know, how humiliated she was. And then she had to take her own life. Because I'm hearing that uh, she, she overdosed on, on tablets. And then when, when they took her to the nearest hospital, it was already late. Said. It said that on the day, because it happened on Monday, around 11.30 a.m., 
the kid was supposed was writing a test and then she came back home complaining that um I'm not sure if I did well. She was crying, talking to her brother via text messages, crying. She needed help. She needed someone to talk to probably. And then probably, you know, in in, in our villages, lots of people are breadwinners. They have to be at work. And you come back home, it's too late. So I just felt like we need to ask ourselves, when are we going to stop this bystandertism, if there's such a word? Because had people or these these people who were there watching taking videos uh intervened on time and stopped uh circulating the videos because she felt humiliated we wouldn't be talking about this issue you know we wouldn't be talking about this one probably we'll, talk, we'll be talking about something which is entertaining this one is not entertaining at all you know it's a sad one so said one, you can't imagine losing someone that is close to you because they couldn't take the fact that they are humiliated at school. Because at school, they go there for the whole year. Sometimes for the rest of your first 12 years, you're at school and you, you, you experience bullying because of your looks. Because I'm hearing that's also one of the reasons, you know, despite the fact that uh, she had blocked the perpetrator on Facebook and WhatsApp, and then the perpetrator was confronting her. She was also bullied for her own looks. But then when I'm look, I look at them, like, she's not ugly. She, she doesn't look ugly at all. She's a beautiful young lady. I wish she knew. She has a nice body. You know, a lot of models will kill to want to have a body like that. You know. But okay, South Africa has its own problems. Kids grow up in different homes. Um, then it influenced the way they act towards other kids or they talk towards other kids because of things they go through at home. You know, we don't know why, what the perpetrator was, is going through or why is she a bully herself. That's another issue. Uh, I know that people will say we don't care about the perpetrator because she committed a crime, she, she assaulted a kid. Yes, but then... Things like this where a kid is violent usually starts from home. What, what is the situation at her home? Why is she like that? Because she looks very aggressive, this, 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 this lady. She looks very aggressive, you know, forceful, powerful, you know, overpowering that poor, poor kid. It's terrible. It's, it's terrible, guys. So what do you guys think? What could be the reason? Why is why are South African children so angry? You know, it looks like we have a lot of kids who are angry or who are feeling sad, who are feeling lonely. And what could be done? What can be done? I know people say, ah, uh, people tweet, they say all these things on social networks to condemn what happened, but then they're also perpetrators of the same violence, which is true. Most of us we are perpetrators of this kind of violence, you know. And circumstances pushes people to do things, these kind of things, but it's never acceptable. It cannot be acceptable. Um, I'm just mad at the fact that the principal knew about the issue but did nothing. The teachers knew about this issue but they did nothing. I hope that the Human Rights Commission and other organs of state will do proper thorough investigation to see uh, and make recommendations because they can only make recommendations especially with the hsrc human rights commission um, as far as the principal or teachers who were you know who were privy to the information and they did nothing about it you know kids who took the videos sorry we have lot shading here it said <clears throat> It's said. So, I don't know what you guys think about this one. Um, I'll I'll just leave it for you guys to comment and let's discuss it. What could be the reason why a kid's so angry, and what could have been done to avoid this one? Um, yeah, but that lady, shame, beautiful lady, gone just like that. Yeah. So, Legere Mina, 
you guys can comment down below and then leave your comment and tell us what you think about this one um tell us what you think about that image sad image terrible image not a pleasing one not a pleasant one what do you think what can be done why are south african people so angry you know there must be a reason there must be a reason you have experienced bullying yourself i've experienced bullying myself you know i know someone very close that also experienced bullying themselves you know it's a, it's, it's a sad reality that we live in it's a sad world it's a sad world that we live in south africa um yeah yeah the kid is arrested but it's only arrested and she will be dealt with according to the child um you know child act or some some sort something like that you know because she, she committed an assault, assault we know that that assault led to someone losing their lives that's true but you can never replace a life like that because this lady apparently she was bright she was the brightest in the family she has, she had aspirations to become a doctor but all those things those dreams all gone down the drain all gone down the drain because some idiotism you know all gone down the drain she was good in mathematics you know apparently she's from Jerere, so that's why the family took her to mbiri so that she could excel because we know when you talk about mbiri high school out in sibasa we know what we're talking about a school that produces good results i would think that a school like Mbilui will wouldn't have such incidents, you know. But hey, it's a society that we live in because a school that produces good result, great result, metric results every year, year after it's been like that for for the past ten years, for the past fifteen years. But then, this what changed? What's happening? What could be the reason? There must be something. School governing body must answer to this. The principal, the teachers. The bystanders, you know, the camera guy who took that video, whoever was a camera lead or guy, I don't know. But it's not good, especially those who are who were circulating this this video to to humiliate this poor poor girl, poor child. It's sad, you know. So I don't know what you guys think. So let's comment down below. Let's, let's discuss it. That's the reason why we're doing this video here. We're not trying to break the news. No, no. We're trying to spare, stay uh, discussions around this issue of bullying. And because it might happen to someone you know next. So let's talk about it, guys. Let's comment down below what you guys think of this one. Um, what must happen to the perpetrator? Do you think she deserve time in jail? From us here on Kandela Gingrikan, we'd like to say condolences to the family and so that they need to know that we're all beautiful but in our own different ways thank you guys